My dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for Sagittarians, for every Sagittarian, and those of you that have Sagittarius within you, and it's for November onwards, 2023. It's a general reading about everything, about general matters in your life, every sector of your life that needs attention, or there may be some information that's needed for you to know, to be empowered, it's all going to be here. And to prepare you for anything that might be coming. Okay, my dear um, viewers, welcome again, each and every one of you, and happy birthdays to those Sagittarians that are celebrating. Um, I know it's a bit too early for Sagittarius, but it is possible. Now, what am I saying? First of November, of course. My dear Sagittarius, I do wish you abundance of um, prosperity, and um, I wish you a glorious birthday for each and every one of you and a beautiful day celebrating your birthday. Best wishes to all of you and let us begin. What was this card that, oh my goodness, temperance just came out, changes, and you need to be a bit patient. It just threw itself out as I was wishing you a happy birthday. How amazing. Now, my dear viewers, we will start with the first one. First message for all Sagittarians for November. We're going to take one card. Oops. One open, the other one fell. I'll just try to prosperity and I'll take both of them. I have no choice. Okay, so the first one is prosperity and it's, it seems to me a very prosperous business. My dear um, Sagittarius, for those of you who are planning to, I'll just put my glasses on. It says success, big time, a prosperous business with riches and success. Let's see if you can see that. A prosperous business with riches and success prosperity and success big time amazing now the other one says wishes come true for those of you who've always wished to have your own business that, that's success coming rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes oh my god wishes come true and rapid meaning very quickly you will achieve your dreams and your wishes how amazing is that and we've got number one here which means within a month from November. I see the letter T for Tiger, Thailand, Tom. Uh, I see number, what is this number? Number three, if I turn it upside down, number three. And it's also number four in the Aramaic language. And I also see double T, double T for Tiger. So three T's actually, Tiger. Then I've got four, number four, success. And then we've got number three. Um, and then there is... That's all. T's are everywhere. Okay, but wishes coming true. Now, my dear viewers, let's begin with four major... No, I'll do the uh, Sacred Forest. Let's see what their message is for November for all Sagittarians. And we have prosperity. How amazing. The synchronicity is incredible. I love it when it doubles up. Have a look at that. Prosperity and prosperity with the bumblebee it shows prosperity great sweet results coming riches and success with the prosperity riches and success prosperity and we've got changes that are taking place to bring on this success and this prosperity a lot of changes will take place so that is amazing wishes coming true prosperity double prosperity triple prosperity that is magnificent okay now let's have a look at four major impacts that will impact every Sagittarian in November or the majority of Sagittarian in November. And we've got the lovers. The lovers shows that there is a very special connection between you and someone that might be just forming or might be reaching to a level where you need to make decisions to take it further to the next level. But there are decisions calling for you um, to make in regard to someone partnership that is spectacular. There is so much connection. It's just beautiful. This is a magical uh, card, major arcana about lovers and partnerships, business partnerships. The second one, another incredible card. This is the Four of Pentacles, which is unexpected large sums of money that's coming to you. One that you will be protecting, one that might bring even some jealousy, some problems because it's so much. And it's life-changing money, foundation-changing. You'll change your life, you'll change your home, you'll change things, you'll buy your own business, buy your own home. You'll be able to do a lot. If you've already got that, you'll be doing other things or adding to that. But um, success is coming to you in an incredible way. Wow, that's magical. 
wishes come true. That's amazing. Justice. Justice is going to prevail. If there's a lawsuit of somebody's done the wrong thing by you, justice is going to be in your favor. All for you. Everything is going to be fair and just and um, all working in your favor towards you. We have the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Swords represents a new beginning that brings you a lot of understanding, a lot of realization, and a great victory. An epiphany might be there also with business. What you don't see happening and coming, wow, empowerment. You are going to be empowered by the magician in a big way. You are going to be able to do whatever you want. Whatever that wasn't possible before now will be possible. And also we've got the death card, and the death card shows there will be an ending. It could be a karmic chapter ending of your life and starting new and fresh because you've got the new beginning. So endings always come when there is a new beginning. Empowerment and that. That's that one. We need three cards, three major messages, impacts that will impact all Sagittarians from this deck. Three. So starting with the first one. Oh, my God. Just like we started with this first one with the lovers, we got the lovers card again. Have a look at that. So this shows the impact of the lovers. It seems to me all or majority of Sagittarians are falling in love. They're meeting someone, a beautiful soul. You'll connect with someone magnificent. And you are going to make major, big, life-changing decisions in regard to this. So this is spectacular. I'll just put this right next to it here. All right under it. Okay. Now the next one. You're taking action in regard to this love. I feel like you're finally able to travel. You're able to go. You're able to take action. You're able to move very quickly. You're doing things. Wow. And then we have one challenge that you will have to overcome and you will, even though it may be hard, but you will overcome it without a doubt. And I feel like uh, this is going to be the finale to something that's been suffocating you, overwhelming you, and you've been stressing about it for the longest time. It's coming to an end, but this just last challenge, and that'll be it. What you don't see happening, you are leaving someone behind, perhaps, or leaving someone in the cold. There could be a little bit of loss of money or illness, but money is coming to compensate, and whoever you're leaving, um, you're leaving because you're finally meeting the one. Justice, again, will prevail in abundance and a life of luxury. Wow. How amazing. So leaving somebody behind where you don't see coming, justice again, like we had over here, justice. So it repeated. So I'm going to put this justice right under justice. And then I'll put this one over here. And then what you don't see coming is a life of luxury, a life of leisure, abundance coming to you from all angles, support from everywhere, nurturing, loving power from the empress and a life of wealth and happiness. My God, this money is going to make a big impact. This could be one of your wishes being granted and finally having having it all with the Four of Pentacles. This is incredible. This could be the prosperity that is talked about here. My dear um, Sagittarius, this could be the prosperity talked about. A beautiful, um, and this prosperity also talked about, double prosperity here. This looks like prosperity on a high level with the pentacles. It's all about money, wealth, and life of wealth. could be a business that you might be starting and might be bringing you all this wealth. Um, okay. And another fact that could be your wishes come true could be not only wealth, uh, also on top of it, dream, soulmate, someone wonderful. Uh, or it could be someone that you are connecting with and making big decisions in regard someone incredible i feel like the lovers has taken over uh, more than anything else and money and abundance is there also it's amazing so the lovers just gorgeous one of your wishes could be granted and you might be meeting the one that you're going to spend the rest of your life with the one that's on the same level as you you connect on a high level you do things together you plan together you travel together you can do everything together so wow okay this goes back here, the money next to it, and then we've got these two. This is what you don't see coming. So prosperity, wish come true, and there. All right. Now that we're all ready to go, I'm just going to put these up here. There we go. This one over here. That's it. Now we are. I'm going to get the two other cards that we need from this deck. Two impacts that will impact all Sagittarians, important impact. So we'll take the first one. 
Bella Bemba. Nice card. Oh my god, <laughs> nice card. The Four of Pentacles. Okay. Um, and the next one. I haven't learned this off by heart, so I've got to still read to see what card it is. Now, what's amazing here, we've got this card, which is the Four of Pentacles. I'll just put it so you can read it here. Oh, sorry. Mm, here, the Four of Pentacles, as you can see. And the Four of Pentacles is i'll just take it out so that you know what what, we're to, what i'm talking about because otherwise you wouldn't know if you don't see it and where is the four of pentacles i hope it's not the first card or the last one that i'm looking for it's always there it is that's the four of pentacles my dear viewers okay why i take it out and show it to you because so you can understand this card is the four of pentacles the four of pentacles this is the four of pentacles so that's what i need to show it to you so you understand that it's this card here the four of pentacles in a different deck so in two different decks that's how they look like so whenever you see this card you'll understand this is the four of pentacles but i've got to show it to you so that you can understand the depth of this card this card is about large extreme big amount of money life-changing money that literally changes your life. And it's a large amount. You don't expect it. It's out of the blue. Sometimes it's inheritance. Sometimes it's a big win windfall. Sometimes it's big money given to you, but it's so big that it, that you can buy real estate. So who would give a, a money like that? Unless it's inheritance or a great gift. Somebody wins, uh, you know, 300 million kind of a lottery and they might give you, say, two or three million. And this could be four million, could be... Uh, the the life changing where you can buy a lot of property a lot of real estate a lot of business something major this is big and don't forget we're talking about prosperity we're talking about wealth right we're talking about wishes come true and then we've got these two cards so it just makes me wonder um could it be one of your wishes that you wanted to be wealthy and abundance is coming that could be a possibility abundance talking and this is of course the life of of wealth and riches uh th this this is the card of abundance the empress is about abundance it's about fruitfulness and abundance in many areas of your life a, a very nurturing power so my dear viewers prosperity can be and wishes can be everything the money is there but also remember that the lovers are there too could be one of your wishes to meet someone wonderful be able to do so much money will come to help you move forward with this person and you can you know have a life together and plan together and take action together but that is truly incredible okay so wishes come true prosperity and abundance so this came over here and the lovers right there okay so that was the other card that we got other energy which was really important I'll just put it over here so you can see. And then the next one. Oh, yeah, sorry. The next one. I'll just put my glasses on. Uh, Epiphany. Okay, this could be the Ace of Realization. Yes, this is the Ace of Swords, which is over here. The Ace of Swords. It shows that there will be a shift, a breakthrough, a new beginning. Um, a sudden wake-up call, perhaps, for some of you. A lot of realizations, but most of all, a great victory awaits you. So Epiphany could be that you might be thinking of buying your own business. You might be considering it. I just feel like that could be part of it. Okay. So let's see further now what else you need to know before I clarify the cards. Two messages for all Sagittarians for November. So we've got the first one. we got gold. And the second one. <coughs> and we have the golden cup. Okay. Now, gold and golden cup. Now let's talk about the gold first. The gold is about solid uh, solid finances solid secure finances it's about investing with integrity it's about deep values banking money putting money for long term securing money it could be also about careers in in, in banking long term positions and it could be also about really satisfying work conditions so something wonderful is happening around your work and then we've got this. I'll just take this up so we don't lose it. And then we've got overflowing prosperity. Now, how many times do we get prosperity? 
Do you see that? I'll just bring it closer. Prosperity. So we've got prosperity everywhere. Here, there, there. But three times prosperity. Have a look. Prosperity three times. We've got prosperity, prosperity, and finally we've got the golden cup where it says prosperity. So prosperity is coming at all angles. I have asked Archangel Gabriel. I have pleaded so that they always double or triple the most important factors so that we know the intensity of them in our life, each and every one of us. So uh, it shows today prosperity big time in many areas of your life, my dear Sagittarius, so you can be thriving and and so happy with what's coming. What's coming is going to be spectacular. A lot of sweet results. Now, we've established all this. Now what we're going to do next is I'll just see the butterfly spirit to see what they've got to tell all Sagittarius. Oops, one of them just opened. And then we need just one more. And that's the other one. Now with these ones, you don't have to think about reverses. They're upside down or not. It's not important. They're not tarot cards. They don't have different meanings when they're upside down. Okay. Heavenly signs, you'll see the signs about everything we're talking about. Abundance, soulmate, if you haven't met them already. But there are heavenly signs showing you the signs. Keep your eye. Ah, why isn't this? Oh, there it is now. Heavenly signs are going to be all around you. And some of you are moving. Moving on, relocating leaving the place where you're at maybe because of this decision you see you could be moving that is a, a very strong possibility making decisions in regard to a relationship and perhaps moving to a better place to a much more uh maybe uh, you know you might be uniting and and you know having your dream life a dream home this this is a very strong possibility that you could be buying a better place, living in a better, much better situation, but you you are moving. Maybe the money that's coming is giving you the empowerment to put your money together and buy something bigger, better. Uh, it's all possible. Everything is possible. The lovers goes over here. Okay. So that, that explains that. Let's see what else you need to know, my dear Sagittarian. Then I'm going to do at the end the star sign. Uh, star sign combination of the person that you are going to be meeting or overwhelmed with or dealing with and planning with it's all going to be here we'll find out getting five star signs we'll shuffle and get five star signs that tells us um, the combination signs within that person and so the, their personality and how you go together so we've got the first one and then the second one for all such terror oh too many cards fell Sagittarius November and that's the other one okay so the first one it says the girl with the snake there's going to be a lot of healing healing the snake is about healing an empath um, you could be dealing with someone that's an empath there could be someone that has a narcissistic paradigm someone very very self-centered or selfish um, but there could be also a situation where you may be feeling um, used maybe you felt used I feel like you know you are going to be setting boundaries and you know you are going to be lucky being charmed charmed means being lucky and also you you may some of you may be feeling used that's why you're probably um, ending something leaving someone behind and going don't forget there's someone leaving someone behind and moving away ending a situation okay abundance keep a positive mindset Manifesting exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. Didn't we see gratitude and bliss before? So I feel like a lot of gratitude, a lot of abundance, gratitude and bliss. A lot of blessings are coming into your life. You are going to be hooraying from all the great things that are coming. Let's see. Two cards. Two messages for all Sagittarians. And the truth of the matter is, it says loving yourself is very important, maybe so you can move away from something that's not working or um, putting yourself first. Maybe you've been sacrificing for the sake of others or sake of someone. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So love yourself and, um, you know, self-respect makes you more romantically attractive 
And finally, it says a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, honestly discussing, discuss your feelings. No, no, you're not discussing it. They're saying do that. Um, honestly, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. A heart-to-heart -heart conversation can take you to the next level. Mm, interesting. Let's see what the message is, and that will make us understand further what this is all about. Okay. Mm, okay. It says, let there be closeness. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Always give time away from each other so you can miss each other and um, so that you don't crowd each other or, you know, so that they'll be missing, missing. Missing is so important in all the relationships. Okay. We've established everything. Now we're going to do the clarifications. Let's clarify and see what you need to know, especially about the lovers. Let's do the lovers for all Sagittarians. Let's see what the lovers is all about because we've got two of them there. And the truth is, wow, you are going to be nurtured and abundantly uh, given a lot of warmth, a lot of, a lot of loving. I also feel like this person could be very nurturing, the one that you're meeting. And I feel also with the Empress is about motherhood. It's about um, fruitfulness. This could be some of you meeting the right one so you can start a family together, being a mother, being, you know, family, starting family together, children. Uh, an area of your life that was suffocating you, an area that you were overwhelmed with is coming to an absolute end. Remember I said there's something ending? With the death card, something is ending completely. And you are going to be living a life of happiness and luxury when this is over. This something that is overwhelming you is coming to absolute end. What you don't see, see happening and coming, oh, one of your wishes is going to be granted. And the wheel of fortune, the wheel of luck and abundance. What can I say about this? This is amazing. We've got the gold. we got, where's the, um? oh my goodness, uh, we've got the... Uh, the money here could be money, could be a life of luxury, could be could be anything really. Um, I feel like there is going to be so much. Where is the other one? I'm trying to find it. Ah, here. Remember this one? They keep coming together, these two, which is really shocking. I'll put this one at the bottom and just put these like this, okay? So again, we've got the wealth and we've got the wheel of destiny the wheel of extreme luck bringing you abundance money that you will invest investment so many of you could be thinking of investment some of you could be um, looking at financial advices how to invest what to do with this money i feel like it's ex extraordinary luck also with the wheel of fortune um this is where i say to you have a look at your money reading that will tell you how much money is coming from what are there different sources? Because it could be different sources. You're living a life of luxury and not working, a life of leisure, having everything you've always wanted, you know, legacies of money. So lifetime of money, so abundance in, in every way. So uh, maybe you do need to play some sort of a lotto or lottery. So this could be a windfall if there isn't if you know that there is a possibility of inheritance, a big, large amount of inheritance that's life-changing, foundation-changing, then by all means. But these prosperities in every way, prosperity, 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 shows that um, something really big and major is going to take place in your life. Uh, really, really major, like in money-wise, without a doubt. Abundance is coming. Now, the other important factor is um, putting money aside and talking about relationships. Uh, we're talking about partnerships that are going to be doing well. Maybe it is a business partnership, but I feel like there could be a love situation here that might be doing exceptionally well. Maybe not for everyone, but I feel like um, destiny could be intervening. So we'll put this away now and talk about... Um, We'll talk about, I just want to see what part of this is to do with relationships. Um, maybe the heart-to-heart -heart conversation could be, the heart-to-heart -heart conversation could bring on some decision-making in regard to the lovers, both lovers cards here, two lovers, you see, two major arcane, and then we've got the Wheel of Fortune, which controls situations to take you to the next level. So maybe talking about real deep truth 
you'll finally know what the best course of action is and what decision to make in regard to partnerships. But there is a situation with partnerships without a doubt. So that's that one there. Now let's move forward to the next level. And the next level is, again, this money. Let's have a look at this and look at this. <laughs> a dramatic rise in your money. Let's have a look at the Four of Pentacles and see what the Four of Pentacles is all about. There's the other one here. So the truth about the Four of Pentacles. Where is this money coming from? Well, oh, my God. OMG, have a look at that. Do you see? Triple. Triple times it came and it come, this has never happened ever I get two but I never get three remember this is the third one here the four of pentacles I showed this before so that you can understand this is miraculous at a time where you are stressed emotionally unhappy it is at that time that this four of pentacles is coming and changing your life changing your life dramatically changing the structure of your life changing the architecture of life, your life, changing it to the point where you want to move, you want to live a luxurious life. Maybe this is part of your wish, perhaps. You are destined for something magical, to live a life of luxury. You are destined to get one of your wishes. This could be one of your wishes being granted also. One of your wishes could be granted. If you've always wanted to be wealthy and live a life of luxury, this could be one of your wishes. But you are destined for abundance. You are destined for extreme luck, my dear Sagittarius. My goodness. Please write in the comment section when this happens, when you do feel or reach to this kind of wealth. I'd love you to share it with everybody, with me and everyone, because this is incredible. Mind you, I am Sagittarius three quarters so this could happen to me too which i love okay so money there money there and what was the other card that i got with this i'm trying to remember i did get one more card oh at a time when you are stressed emotionally unhappy or might have left someone behind that wasn't working it might happen at that time or there could be someone leaving or somebody could be I can't say passing, maybe somebody's passing and you're sad about that and this is coming, but it is part of your destiny and you're destined to have this. So this is incredible. It could be connected to someone of earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, possibly, because I saw the queen, the queen of uh, pentacles. It could be somebody passing and you're getting this great wealth that you're able to expand and buy more. Anyhow, we'll see. Justice. Let's look at the justice because we've got that double too, double justice. Let's see. For all Sagittarians, wow, wealth. You are destined for wealth, without a doubt. A new rebirth, a new beginning. You're rising like the phoenix and you're becoming very wealthy. A life unlike anything you've had before. This is a life so amazing that you haven't never had. A life that will compensate you, that will heal you, that will uplift you. A new lease of life with abundance, with wealth with the world to the highest level wow especially those of you that have air energy within you like libra aquarius gemini all those of you dealing with this is amazing i am just shocked what what can i say could it be that the wheel of fortune is bringing it all on could it be this money that's bringing it all on what can i say what can we possibly say about this the card of wealth. Where shall I put this? I'll, I'll hold them again together and I'll put the wealth here so you can understand. The card of wealth, the ten of wealth. And then you've got the nine of wealth, that you live a life of wealth and luxury. And people say, why do you keep saying wealth? How can I not? This isn't to do with happiness. This is to do with money. These are the coins. And destiny playing its role. It's extreme, powerful um, luck that comes with it that brings you fortune in a grand scale, on a very high grand scale. Have a look at that. Living a life of leisure. So this is miraculous. My dear Sagittarius, this is incredible. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. This isn't something you're doing. This is part of your destiny, without a doubt. Destiny can only bring these things on. Okay. Back to where we were now. Okay, so, oh, sorry, this was all part of justice. We were talking about justice, and this came on. And new rebirth and wealth together. 
that's going to be the justice for what you have gone through. This is justice to give you a reward, compensation for all that you have done, all the sacrifices, and you're finally leaving something behind and moving forward. And it is to do with your wishes. We can't deny the fact that one of your wishes, something you wanted the longest time, you are going to get it. Oh, wow. I love that. Love that. Now, let's have a look at the Ace of Swords and the Four of Swords opened up. We'll talk about that in a moment. Let's see what else about this new beginning for all Sagittarians. The only way for this new beginning to take place is when there's an ending. Death or the passing of someone. It could be the passing of someone for some Sagittarians. And it could be... Um, or it could be, now wait a minute, this is important, I've got to say this. There could be the passing of someone of air energy or someone that is of earth energy or they might have earth and air together, possibly. This person could be, uh, once the, the passing could be a timing so that you know it is at that time when somebody passes a new beginning comes, one that will give you a glorious, glorious um, epiphanies and understanding um, it's going to give you a glorious new life and the greatest love of all, the greatest gift of all. And the greatest gift of all could be this wealth we're talking about. So this, oh my God, now I understand wishes come true, prosperity, all this, why it's doubling up and tripling. Because it's as though destiny is saying you have, there's a karmic matter that you've been sacrificing and doing alone and putting your interests aside and, and doing for others could be your children your family parents you've been doing and doing and 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 sacrificing now it's time for your rewards and this reward's going to take place when you end something when something ends or when someone passes and that someone is air energy aquarius gemini libra and there might be also earth energy virgo taurus capricorn i just feel that very strong and it's going to be time where you do take time out and heal from this uh, dilemma. It is going to be a dilemma. It is going to be um, time out. You really need time out to heal. Time out to heal from this. This is really big. This is really major. So at the time of either ending of a chapter, uh, a karmic chapter, a relationship or a karmic chapter, or the passing of someone is going to bring you the abundance that we just talked about. Wow, shocking. There's going to be an amazing victory for you after overcoming a major obstacle. Major, not obstacle. What's the word? Challenge, major challenge. Something that was really suffocating and it's coming to an end. And then that is the greatest victory. You are going to have the greatest victory. Wow, that was amazing. My dear Sagittarius, now I'm going to do, have I, oh wow, I passed the time. I always do, it's not my fault. I can't go fast enough. Let's have a look. Um, the five major impacts, the five major uh, signs. I want two, three signs that I doubled up in regard to the person that you are going to be overwhelmed with, consumed with in November. That's what we're doing. There's our sign combination. Okay, so we've got the first one and we've got Capricorn, Saturn. Saturn, the rule of Capricorn. Okay. And the other one is Venus, the ruler of Taurus and Libra. Libra is the air energy that we were talking about. And we've got Mercury, Gemini and Virgo, both the ruler of Aries, fire. Okay. And I need one more. Okay. And there's the other one. Okay. I feel very strongly about what I'm going to say now. Venus doubled up. So we're talking in Libra. Libra and Aries. Air, energy and fire. And then we've got Virgo here. Virgo and Gemini. And then we've got Capricorn. My dear Sagittarius, what I feel is that the person you're leaving behind or the person that's leaving or passing or leaving um is someone of air energy they could be libra with aries air and fire so maybe there was a, an amazing relationship based on lust 
<laughs> sorry, based on intimacy, strong intimacy, based on uh, a lot of passion. But it wasn't one that was going to be um, in, uh, an enduring one. So I feel like fire goes beautifully with you and air is fantastic, but earth is what makes you thrive and move forward. And I feel like with Virgo here, uh, it could be Gemini also air, so that we're talking about Libra, strong Libra. We can't defy this, the fact that there's strong Libra, but there's double also Taurus. So I feel like there's a Taurus here, very strong. There is um, Libra here, very strong. It could be someone that's got um, Libra and Aries, someone that is into sports, someone that is very much into their body, someone that's that takes care of themselves, but they are, they do get become angry quickly, they're impulsive. And they explode quickly and they heal quickly. So it's someone that's a bit wonderful in, in, in the bedroom, perhaps, but erratic when it comes to <laughs> to um, life and, and, you know, plans and everything. So we're talking about Aries and Libra here. We're talking about perhaps uh, Gemini also. They might have Gemini in them. Uh, the other factor is we're talking about Earth energy, which is the most important factor for all Sagittarians. Sagittarian being fire. Fire energy, you need earth to thrive. You need earth for long longevity. You need earth to regenerate and to grow. You need earth to prosper and plan and, and long term. Okay, long term. For those of you who are after long term relationships, we're talking about motherhood here. We're talking about family. We're talking about endurance. We're talking about a life filled with happiness and, and decision making about you know, a beautiful soul that you're uniting with and starting a new life and, and a life that endures everything. And that can only be with Earth. And we've got here Virgo, Mercury, the ruler of Virgo and Gemini. But we're not talking about air now. We talked about that. We're talking about Virgo. We're talking about Capricorn. But the most important one, why did this come not Libra, but Venus? Because Taurus double Taurus here. So Taurus is playing a major role in, in your path. It could be someone family that could be passing we're talking about, but it could also be someone that you are starting a life with. Now, this person could be double Taurus. They could have Taurus in them or they're doubling up the Taurus to show majority of Sagittarians will be dealing with Earth because we've got Virgo, we've got two Taurus and we've got Capricorn. So Earth energy, very strong. You're moving towards Earth, leaving fire leaving air this is libra double libra and gemini you see how it becomes i love this because the way <laughs> the way it came like mercury the ruler of anyhow um for those of you who know astrology you'll understand why i'm what i'm talking about but for those of you who don't you all all need to know one thing the earth energy that has tripled in your reading no quadrupled sorry so we got two taurus one Virgo and one Capricorn. That's for Earth. That's taken over. That's letting me know that you are going to move to the next level. The next level is someone that you will regenerate. Someone that you will, um, someone that gives you foundation. Someone from, from, because of them, you will be able to thrive, grow and expand and be able to do and live a life of luxury, live a life of happiness, live a life with a lover that you've always wanted, thrive together. That's why we've got them double. Thrive together, build together, have the life of everything you've always wanted. The sadness disappears, happiness is there. And I feel like you did have a beautiful love life with someone of fire and air energy, Aries and perhaps Libra. But I feel like the time has come to end this because you want more. You want to move to the next level. And I feel like you are. You're moving big time. You're moving towards Earth. It could be Taurus. could be Virgo. could be Capricorn. This person, they've got a lot of Earth energy. They might also have Aries in them. They might have fire in them. They might have, um, you know, um, what was the other one? Libra. They might have Libra in them. It is possible. But the earth is there to give you that endurance, to help you grow. And destiny, having destiny intervening and the Ace of Cups, it shows to me that you are destined for the greatest gift of all, the greatest love of all. So you're not going to be with someone that you have passion with and a wonderful bedroom. But that's all. You can't build together. You can't move forward together. So I feel like they've brought earth 
our guardian angels, your guardian angels, have brought earth four times in this to show me, so I can deliver this message to you, that you will be thriving and you'll be getting everything you didn't get. Compensation, rebirth, what you didn't have, what you weren't able to have, and a new lease of life. So putting it all together, I can see that you're moving, you're elevating to a long term, a very very extremely happy life is waiting for you with someone that you unite with on a very high level this person you can work well together you can do magic together you will grow and you will become strong together and you will be so empowered so empowered with this person that like the magician like the magic you'll be getting everything your way and you don't have to work so hard at it effortlessly it's going to happen effortlessly because they're on the same level as you and that's what this is all about and it comes at a time where you are feeling so unhappy and so does the money the money is coming at that time too so a wonderful reading i was very happy with this Ex exceptionally happy do let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if it resonates with you if you can connect to this and also let me know your comments i can't wait to hear them i wish you abundance of blessings and a lot of love and light namaste